Hi dear parents and students. So today we are covering one of the most important topic. Uh, you know almost everything about DASA and CAWG. But uh, DASA and CAWG quest is such that uh, we are never satisfied with it and we are always looking for more and more answers. So today I try to answer one of uh, the important questions that many of the parents do ask. And uh, it's also one of the basic questions that you need to know if you are going for a DASA and CAWG scheme. Uh, the topic is that which universities, which colleges, which uh, uh, institutes in India, they accept your DASA and CAWG scheme. Okay. Uh, one of the underlying fact here and uh, uh, that I would like to clarify at the very beginning because uh, many of the parents and students are looking at this video as of now. So I would like to tell you that uh, any uh, uh, student or any parent who is planning for their awards for medical in India, for them, first of all, the DASA and CAWG scheme is not valid. And in this video, we are not going to talk about that for obvious reasons because it's DASA and CAWG is not valid for medical universities or for uh, commerce stream or for any other stream for that matter. So DASA and CAWG universities and colleges that we are going to talk about in today's video, it's basically going to be the engineering universities in India in which DASA and CAWG is valid. Okay, I hope I have made my point. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, roughly I can tell you that there are approximately uh, 55, 60 universities in India, uh, engineering universities of course, uh, which accept your DASA and CAWG score. Okay, which means that if you are, and yeah, one more thing over here, uh, if you are thinking that uh, with DASA and CAWG, you'll be able to get admission in uh, IITs, no, that's not true for IITs. It's all about general quota. Okay, uh, there is no scheme involved in IIT. It's completely merit based. So in this uh, video, we are not going to talk about IITs because IIT is not included in DASA and CAWG. So what covers CAWG and DASA scheme? Uh, which universities comes into it. So basically, we say that approximately 60 uh, universities or institutions in India are there, which comes uh, immediately after IITs, holds a very good reputation all along. And uh, these universities uh, we call in general are CFTIs, Centrally Funded Institutions in India. Now, uh, to name them and to make this video a little elaborative and a little descriptive in nature so that we have a complete clarity over the universities, I will take you through one of the website and uh, I will also possibly include that uh, video in the uh, link in the description below. So let's just get started with it. Okay. So this is the website I was talking to you about for the list of universities that uh, uh, accept your CIWG and DASA. I have already given the link for this in the description below. Okay, so as I, um, I told you that we are having roughly 60 odd universities uh, that are uh, uh, covering under DASA and CAWG scheme. So let's get started with the very first NITs. Okay, NITs is for National Institute of Technologies. And in India, we have approximately 29 NITs, which accepts your DASA and CAWG score, uh, which means if you are planning for NITs in India, all the NITs will accept your DASA and CAWG, okay? If you're planning for any of the streams and uh, in this particular uh, uh, link over here on the website, it also shows you number of seats available in each of the NITs, okay? So let's just see here. Now, as you can see that uh, NIT Agratala, NIT Kerala, NIT Calicut, NIT Delhi, NIT Goa, NIT Hamirpur, Jaipur, etc. They have their uh, uh, seats mentioned over here. How many seats are reserved under the DASA and CAWG colleges? So, 29 NITs are getting covered in DASA and CAWG. Let's go down. Then, all triple ITs are getting covered. The seats are also mentioned over here, how many seats they have reserved for DASA and CIWG. Three SPAs, which is a School of Planning and Architecture, their seats available. Then 14 CFTIs, which are mentioned over here, okay? 
so these are basically these all are the universities or the institutes which will take care of your dasa and cawg scheme so if you are planning for any of uh, these colleges in india and let me just tell you again that many of these colleges are if not uh, uh, better than iits they are not bad at all they hold a very good reputation and the people do want to get uh, uh, admission into these colleges so you can obviously try considering them as well so uh, this is uh, my take and uh, of course i could not uh, uh, cover all the queries over here like for the eligibility part for the stream part uh, for the number of seats in each, in each particular college so if you have query regarding those such things which you definitely must be having as of now what you can do is i've also included one of uh, the query link in the description below of this video uh, you can simply click on that link and you can post your query to us and i'll try to include answer on or i'll try to make a video particularly on that particular uh, question which you will be posting in hopefully you'll be able to answer them all apart from that those who just got to know about da science awg recently and they do not know what da science awg is if you do not know about the number of seats available in da science awg altogether what is the percentage of C, uh, seats that you have in ciwg uh fee that you probably have to pay under dasa scheme and ciwg scheme the clear distinction between the dasa and ciwg and the whole lot i'll try to include our past videos uh, link in the description below you can just go through them and you can have a complete clarity otherwise if you have any doubt you can just use the link i have given in the description below thank you thanks thanks all bye